All right, so by request, thank you to Odalis Becerra for requesting this video. And then a big thank you to Ivan Garcia for volunteering his binder for this video. Um, this is a video to show you exactly how to organize your binder for our binder check. A reminder, binder check is due on Monday, November 21st. Your binder has to be perfect in order for you to get any score for your newspaper project, which is due on 22nd or the 23rd. So binder check on the 21st for your score from the 22nd or the 23rd. Okay, so Ivan has a nearly perfect binder. This right here is not perfect. Uh, there should be nothing in your pockets. So uh, this is the only thing that uh, Ivan needs to put holes in and replace, and I'll tell you where that goes in a few minutes. Let's start off with important documents. For your binder check guide, always start off with your table of contents. Again, Ivan is nearly perfect. He has his titles. He is missing the last one. And the last one, he needs to add pages. So all of these should be in order. The first, you have your um, table of contents. Next would be your binder check guide. Then you should have your syllabus. After your syllabus should be accountable language from we use in our discussions. Next is your how to do your think aloud. It says artifact at the top. So this is your how to think aloud. Your how to do your modern world history key terms, the good example and the bad example. This is the how to do a see me matter. Your how to do your assessment corrections handout. How to do your study guide. Uh, your student model of represented government. So key terms, student model. And this is the um, title that Ivan was missing uh, in his table of contents. He needs his pages. So please make sure that you write down pages as that last entry. And this is the pages. And we're done with uh, important documents. Next, you should have works in progress. This is the one section I don't check, but generally anything that is not been checked, for example, your newspaper project information packet would go in here. Um, for now, you should have your lecture notes in here as well. And we're moving on to unit one. And yes, unit one does need to be organized. It does not need to be complete at this time, but it does need to be organized. So we start off with unit one government notes. For this table of contents, Ivan does have all of his table of contents, so if you need to copy these down, please feel free to hit pause and write down all the table of contents as you see them. Should be syllabus scavenger hunt, starter, uh, should we be trusted, debate cheat sheet number one, starter your opinion, debate cheat sheet number two, Louis XIV, bio, uh, types of government, Note-taking historical figures. That was the um, paper that you had for the debate. You have your quiz corrections rough draft that we did together. Uh, Egyptian Revolution think aloud. Starter protection versus equality. Um, <clears throat> exit slip uh, old regime think aloud. That was the notes from think aloud. Uh, sorry, our reenactment. Um, your declaration of the rights of man and citizen. Evolution of the French Revolution, um, and that was from our video clip. Starter, Hero versus Tyrant, and the last one would be Congress of Vienna, a seeming matter. Okay. So, here they go in this order. This is your um, syllabus scavenger hunt. Should we be trusted, Starter? Debate cheat sheet number one. Starter, who governs? This is a half sheet. It was a multiple choice that we did our... Um, Four Corners, Types of Government and Historical Examples, Part 1, Part 2. This was the notes from our debate. Test Corrections, this was the uh, rough draft. The Egyptian Revolution, Think Aloud. Starter Protection versus Equality. Exit Slip, Old Regime Reenactment Notes, so this was our reenactment, we did this one in class. Um, then a declaration of the rights of man and citizen. Evolution of the revolution, think aloud. This is from the video clips. 
starter, hero, or tyrant. Uh, and then this is where he's missing that paper, um, the Congress of Vienna, and it was the, uh, the map that we looked at um, on Napoleon, so it was a C-mean matter. Next would be Unit 1 Homework. So after your Unit 1 notes is your Unit 1 Homework. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there's a lot of homework for Unit 1. Uh, and this is, again, perfect. So democracy develops, TA should be first. Key terms, number one, this is actually in your social studies dictionary. So there's nothing in your binder for this one, but it should be in your table of contents. Um, absolution, absolutism, TA. Key terms number two, again, these are in your social studies dictionary, so there isn't anything in your binder for this title, but the title should be on your, your table of contents. The Enlightenment TA, key terms number three, again, in your social studies dictionary. Debate cheat sheet number three, historical figure bio, that was the one that you did for your debate. If you were Louis XIV, you do not have a historical figure bio here, and that is okay. Debate cheat sheet number four, uh, American Revolution TA, binder check number one, American Revolution cartoons, see mean matter, lesson six, and that was the packet that goes with these cartoons, American Revolution enlightenment chart, the in influences of the enlightenment, lesson 18 packet, lesson 19 packet, the think alouds that go with those uh, lessons, so results of the American Revolution think aloud, causes of the French Revolution think aloud, French Revolution Begins, See Mean Matter, Rise uh, and Reign of Napoleon, Think Aloud, The Ruin of Napoleon, Think Aloud, and The Revolution Comparison. Okay, so and this is what each of those papers looks like. The Democracy Develops, Think Aloud, it's a bunch of different pages, so I'm going to flip here and just from the staple. So that's Democracy Develops, Think Aloud, Absolutism, Think Aloud, Enlightenment, Think Aloud, Debate cheat sheet number three, your own group's historical figure. Debate cheat sheet number four, the historical examples. Okay, American Revolution, think aloud. I like that Ivan ta uh, did a, an example where he worked with another classmate. So in this case, he worked with Stephanie. When you write that down, it should say worked with Stephanie, but these two boxes at the bottom of your paper should be complete. And that shows me that you worked with the other person. You didn't ask them, hey, you take half, I'll take half. Of course, you should be reading with your partner. It's not about dividing the work up. That doesn't make any sense. I want you guys to actually do all of your homework, not have one person know half the information and the other person know half the information. So make sure if you have something like this where you worked with another classmate, you write down who you worked with, and then here you have answered both sets. That should be complete for this binder check. Okay, so American Revolution, think aloud. American Revolution cartoons see me matter. This is lesson six. It says lesson six at the top. These were the think alouds, I'm sorry, the see me matters that we did. So these were the cartoons. Okay, so lesson six packet. American Revolution Enlightenment Influence. Lesson 18 packet. Lesson 19 packet. Results of the American Revolution think aloud. Causes of the French Revolution think aloud. The French Revolution begins, see me matter. The rise and reign of Napoleon think aloud. The ruin of Napoleon think aloud. And the revolution comparison. So after unit one homework comes unit one assessments. All right, so in here you should have a few exit slips and your two quizzes. Uh, you should also, this is incomplete, Ivan should also have his midterm. Quarter one midterm should be added to this table of contents. So exit slip one, syllabus. Exit slip two, ocracy. That was the um, different key terms that we did at the beginning of the year. Exit slip three, representative government. That was a key term. Then you should have quiz one, democracy develops quiz two, enlightenment and American revolution. And there should be the quarter one midterm here. All right. So exit slip one was a half sheet. Exit slip, ocracy, another half sheet. Then you should have democracy developed. Actually, he's missing 
his representative government um, key term. So it was a key term. It says representative government in the middle, and you guys did your whole key term. Just let me know how you guys were doing there. So he's missing that one. Democracy Develops, quiz one. Enlightenment and Revolution, quiz two. And then here it is. He actually has it in here, his midterm, quarter one midterm. Now, we talked about how there was something in the front pocket of Ivan's binder, and that is his benchmark one, all of his um, talk to the text of the question. This is where he needs to punch holes in this and put this behind his midterm exam, quarter one midterm exam. So it goes here, okay? And that's what unit one looks like. Unit one looks like that. That is the completion of unit one. All right, so now we'll move on to unit two. Oh wait, Ms. Pasco made that mistake, so there should be nothing in unit two. We'll correct that later. And then we're moving on to unit three. Ideally, there would be a title page here that says Unit 3, just so that you know you've moved on to your unit, but it's not required, so if you don't have it, I'm not going to take off points. It's helpful, but you must have, this is where his dividers are, he has Unit 3 right here, that belongs there. First we have Unit 3 Notes, Industrialism and Imperialism Notes. So the notes should say Starter, Beneficial or Detrimental. Pros and cons of Facebook. There's a blank here, and that's for my periods one, two, and three. We did something here that my periods four, five, and six did not do. I will double check exactly what that title is. But please make sure you have that blank there for periods five, six, and seven. For periods one, two, and three, you should have something here. Then there's your starter, um, Industrial Revolution in England, or IRIE. Um, Industrial Revolution in England, or IRIE Brainstorm that we did together in class. Um, the less fortunate essential question when we broke down that question. Your starter, quiz three corrections that we did together in class. Starter isms categories where we uh, did our lecture on capitalism, socialism, and communism. Scramble for Africa notes when we did the uh, activity with the post-it notes. The DBQ motives of imperialism. Uh, and Age of Imperialism lecture notes. And this is the one that we're working on right now. So this was probably for you guys in works in progress. Okay. So your starter, technology beneficial or detrimental. And they have the pros and cons of Facebook. That's the one we did in class to talk about technology was beneficial or detrimental. There's another paper in here for periods one, two, and three. But periods five, six, and seven, you should go directly to starter, industrial revolution in England. And you have the brainstorm for those DBQ. Starter, quiz three corrections. Starter isms categories. That was the notes from class. And yes, they should be complete. Now, actually, ladies and gentlemen, let me rewind. For all of these papers, your papers need to be complete. We've started Unit 3. Since Unit 3, I told you at the beginning of the unit, when we started putting things together, you actually have to have all of these papers complete. If anything is incomplete, you will get a zero. So all of these boxes should be complete. There should be talking to the text on this article. All the boxes where you see me matter, including the pages, should be complete, as well as the answer to that question. Your brainstorm, your starter, this box needs to be complete. You broke down the text and you wrote it your question. Your correction in here. Your isms, um, categories where we made the list, and then you should complete these definitions if you have not already done so. I'm sorry, I skipped page. Okay. Um, these are the notes, the scramble notes. I think it would be helpful to make sure that you label here. So Ivan, I think you should label here. And anyone else, if you do not have a label, this should be your scramble notes from that activity where we had the post-its and we've stuck everything everywhere. DBQ motives of imperialism. Um, this one is the one where actually you should probably only have two or three of these complete, depending on which class you're in. Period seven, I think you only have this one complete. And I think it's possible that period six only has this one complete, the one we did together in class. And that's fine. I'm not expecting you to complete all of these other ones because I did not give you these documents to complete. 
Okay, and that is all the notes that we have so far for this unit. At the end of this unit, when we're done by Monday, what should be here is going to be the lecture notes from our lecture. And that's where the notes we're taking all this week. And yes, all of those questions need to be complete. So please make sure you add that in there. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, now we're industrialism, imperialism homework. Okay, and so here we have Industrial Revolution begins, or IR begins, any way you want to um, abbreviate that, that is okay. Uh, that's your um, Industrial Revolution begins, think aloud. Uh, industrialization Manchester, or Industrialization Man, TA, think aloud. Industrialization Manchester, see mean matters. You have your Mill Times, see mean matters. There should be nine of them, that's the video clips. If you don't have one of those video clips done, they are still on my YouTube channel, so please make sure you complete those. Industrialism spreads, think aloud. Your DBQ, Industrial Revolution in England, and that was the rest of those documents. So you had the map in the notes, because we did that in class, and then we had three other ones that we had to do for homework. Uh, reforming industrialism, think aloud. The ISM's cheat sheet. Scramble for Africa, think aloud. Imperialism, Nigeria, think aloud. Imperialism in India, think aloud. That's the one that was given to you last week, uh, Thursday and Friday. It was due on Monday. China resists. Uh, that is the one that is due this week, Thursday or Friday. And nationalism in India. This is the last homework assignment that needs to be in your binder for this binder check. Uh, and that's the one that is due on Monday. So, Industrial Revolution begins, think aloud. Again, you need to have everything complete. Let me just give you an example of what I'm looking for for your homework needs to be complete. You have your notes done, and you have both of these questions answered. Ideally, this answer makes sense. All of his notes, question answered. Questions answered. Notes, questions answered. Notes, questions answered. Notes, questions answered. Notes, questions answered. Fantastico. All right. <clears throat> we have notes, questions answered. Here, he worked with Stephanie, and that's fine because he has both of his questions answered. Does that make sense, ladies and gentlemen? We want to make sure that we have all these sections complete because that's what I'm looking for. So these think alouds are great. Seeming matter. They are labeled, which is important. If you have your seeming manners and they're not labeled, that will be missing information. I need it to be complete. Please make sure that you write down the titles of those seeming matters. Seeming matters are complete. Good. Mill time seeming matter. Mill time seeming matter. There we go. There we go. Now, we started with these mill times see me matter. Notice that here there's a pages symbol. Ivan needs to come back, read through these notes, or re-watch this particular video clip and write down his pages symbol. Because at that point we'd started the pages symbol. I'm also noticing, coming back, Ivan is missing his title. And that is important information. He needs to have his title. Which video clip is this? Which video clip is this? How about that one? Make sure you have your titles complete. That's not hard to do, ladies and gentlemen. Read your notes, go back to my YouTube channel and make sure you write down the title of your video clip. Complete the pages symbol as well. And these pages symbols need to be complete. Titles need to be written in. Mill time see me matter. Mill time see me matter. Again, pages symbols and title need to be complete. Setting the stage, industrialism develops in uh, <clears throat> sorry, setting the stage, industrialism develops in, oh, I see. This is his industrialism spreads. He should have the industrialism spreads think aloud here so that I know what this is. Make sure you have your titles and your page number, which he does, even though he doesn't have his papers. And his questions are complete. Titles, complete. Title, complete. Very good. Okay, the DBQ, Industrial Revolution in England. So in this one, I'm looking to see that you talked to the text. You've answered each question. You have your pages symbol, your C, your mean, and your matter. 
talked to the text, answered the question, page is symbol, C mean matter. Talk to the text, answer the question, page is symbol, C mean matter. That is a complete worksheet, nothing to be fixed there. Okay. Reforming industrialized, uh, industrialism, uh, think aloud, wrote in who he worked with, but answered the question, has the title and the page number. That's what we're looking for. Very good. When you go to the CME matters, make sure that you write down the title and the page number where you found your CME matter. Title, page number, CME matter. Very good. Fantastic. Oh, and I forgot that we started at this point. We've also added pages symbols to these notes. So you need to make sure that you have your pages symbol for each page, for each section, subsection. And Ivan does have his pages symbol. Very good. A CME matter complete. Title, page number, see me matter. Very good. Pages, symbols, notes complete, answers to both questions. Beautiful. All right. The isms cheat sheet. For this one, you need at least one row for each ism. Communism, there's one row complete. Unionism, one row is complete. Okay. He happened to do both sections, that's fantastic. Capitalism, one row is complete. Socialism, one row is complete. Make sense? Fantastico. All right, in here, scramble for Africa. Ivan needs to go back to write his pages symbol. What is this, economics, politics, is it um, ideology, etc.? So he needs to fill in that paper. And he looks like he has to fill it in for all of his section. Other than that, this is perfect. Good. With his see me matter, he wrote his um, title, page number, title, page number. Answered both questions, wrote down who he worked with. He still needs his pages symbol for each of these sections. Please make sure that you have your pages symbol, otherwise it is an incomplete paper. Title, page number, title, page number. Pages symbol needs to be complete. Very good. Okay. Imperialism Nigeria. Excellent. He actually did his pages symbols for this one. Title, page number, notes, pages, symbol, both answers to questions. Fantastic. Marvelous. Grand. Great. Beautiful. Ah, not so beautiful. For his Imperialism Nigeria, his Simi Matters, he completed the Simi Matters, but he did not write his title or page number. Title or page number. That is incomplete at this moment. He needs to make sure he writes those back in. Good. Pages, symbol is incomplete here. Title, page number, title page number that needs to be completed. Okay, pages symbol needs to be complete. And then again, title, page number. Okay, imperialism in India. He needs his pages symbols. Pages symbol. Pages symbol. Page, oh, not here. Pages symbol. Pages symbol. Okay, and then <clears throat> the last one that should uh, be in here, so on China resists, um, we'll go in here next, uh, and then you have nationalism in India will be the last one. Next, we move on to industrialism and imperialism and assessments. This is the last section that needs to be in order for this binder check. So for these titles, there are very few because Ms. Pasqua has not returned all of your exit slips. But what I have returned, you have your exit slip, Industrial Revolution, uh, and then you have your next exit slip, which I plan to return to you, um, which is your isms, Tayak, and then you have your Industrial Revolution in England, Tayak paragraph, and your quiz three que um, questions. This first one should be um, a key term that I'm going to be returning to you. He, he, he. The next one is the um, isms tayak, and that's one I need to return to you. Then there is your industrial revolution in England tayak that you wrote in class that I need to return to you. But last but not least, you need to have your quiz corrections uh, for quiz three. So you should have your corrections, your answer document, which answers you did, and your question sheet. If you did not do your um, corrections, that's not a problem, as long as you have a 12 or better on this quiz. That means, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who did not complete your quiz corrections, you need to have it in here if you didn't 
complete all of them. You have to have all of them complete in here. And that is the end of your binder check. I am noticing that there is other things in Ivan's binder, which is not appropriate. So I'm glad he put it in here so I can show you that this, which does not belong in my class, should be not in my binder. I grant you, if this is for Mr. Robinson's class, I can see why you might put this information together. However, I do not want you to have it in my binder. Put it in a different folder, etc., for your binder check. This should be done anyway by the time you have uh, your binder check. Your essay for him is due earlier than my binder check, so this should be gone. You have no reason to have it in here. Uh, everything else should be gone. What is this? This is cover line, appears for a cover of the magazine, etc. Oh, these were notes from um, Mr. Robinson's class. Big eight purposes for writing. Again, does not belong in my binder. So please make sure you take everything else out. Spanish definitely doesn't belong in my binder. Make sure you take it out and yeah, Spanish, gotta be gone. So a perfect binder has nothing in its pockets. A perfect binder has no notes from any other class, including Mr. Robinson, should not be in here. Perfect binder has everything complete on every page of unit three, notes, homework, and quiz corrections. Perfect binder has table of contents that is perfect. And a perfect binder should have your name on it. Ideally, if you have a binder like Ivan, where there is a um, section where you can put something in here, please make sure that you have your name and your period number in your binder. If you don't have that somewhere on your binder uh, in, with a Sharpie, a permanent pen, please make sure you write your name, first and last, and period number. And that way, if I need to keep your binders in class on Monday, I will be able to pass them back to you. And that's it. Good luck. If you have any questions, please make sure you email me before Sunday. It takes me 24 hours. I have a 24 hour window to get back to you. So please make sure that you email me before Sunday if you have any questions or need any clarification. Thank you.